You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Always the past. Hi, friends. Welcome back to the Rachel LaForce Show. It's me, Rachel LaForce, and this is my show. If you're first time listening, oh my gosh, howdy doody and a welcome. Uh, this is a spiritual podcast from me, a comedian, because healing is hilarious. It's really funny that we're all doing this right now. You're probably going through your own journey, clutching to the universe, asking <laughs> the questions about life. And that's pretty funny. It's pretty funny that we're just in a spinning universe and uh, we don't know how we got here. It's hilarious. Um, but I'm really excited to share with you this next journey that I'm going on. So if you're an OG listener, you have experienced me kind of firsthand really adapting and shifting and changing over time. Uh, if you're new to the podcast, could I be so humble as to ask you to go back and listen to the first few? You're going to hear that origin story. And so much of what this next journey is for me is creating a new story. Okay. Now, this is a very easy thing. You know, throw a wall at a white woman on Instagram who's talking about her self worth. And you're going to hear that of like, write your own story, create your own story. Right. We probably even like Marilyn Monroe said it. She didn't, but we'd give it to her. Um, and so if you've been seeing me on socials, you know that I've been talking all about, we're getting ready to go into this Lionsgate portal. Um, even if you're not of kind of the new age spirituality or even spirituality in regards to duality, but you're really here for the good time and the self growth, it's all the same. What we give power to gives power to us, period, right? That's why when you hear people say, they're like, take your power back from that thing. It's as simple as going, you get to decide. Like, believe it or not, like you are the wizard. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, great name for a solo show. Um, and so you get to decide. And I am deciding that this portal, this time, these high holy days in summer is an opportunity for us to walk through this quote unquote portal and make this shift for ourselves. You guys know the language of like quantum leaps and frequencies and all of these things. It's not really the language that I subscribe to, not because I don't believe in the power of those things. It's just not the language that I feel attracted to. But you fill in the blank of the language that works for you. The reality is that things are changing and we have an opportunity to change our life, period, end of sentence, okay? We've been talking about this all year of getting closer to this 999 moment, right? If you've seen my tattoos, uh-oh, watch out. Uh, she got 999 tattooed on her body because I was so serious about wanting it to be finite, that everything that came before this is done. I don't need to carry it with me anymore. Although, um, just a word to the wise for those of you, if you're getting 999 on your body, know that there are various ways that it's going to look like 666, okay? Which, if you study numerology, you know that 666 is actually a wildly powerful and beautiful number. If you were raised Christian like myself, it has a totally different connotation. So. Many members of my family now believe that I have 666 tattooed on my body. So that'll be fun to talk about on Thanksgiving. Bring it back to what is at hand. We have this opportunity to create a new story. So many of us have created a sense of self around what everybody else has told us that we are, right? Uh, you guys know I had an initiative for a long time called the Misfit Light, and we were meeting uh, in the mornings, and then I moved it to the evenings. And we were talking about uncovering your sense of misfit light. What I mean by that is most of us that have found our way here identify as a late bloomer, codependent, uh, anxious attachment, fight or flight. Excuse me. There's going to be all of these. Uh, I think I said late bloomer. Uh, empath. There's going to be all of these people pleaser words that we identify with. And I want to ask you, do you identify with that or did you identify as that? Because that distinction is razor thin and also makes a world of difference. 
and that this is the opportunity stepping through this lion's gate on eight, eight, what we're about to enter into. It is the acknowledgement to ourselves and to the universe that we are ready for a new story. So, so many of us, the things that we say about ourselves, the things that we believe about ourselves to be true are no longer current. I met with a new uh, social media brand strategist I'm going to be working with. I'm absolutely, I love her, Terry Supernova. Go find her. She's phenomenal. And we were arcing out how we want to continue to share what it is that we're doing. And I kept naming a lot of things and she's like, but that's old story. And it was so powerful that it brought me to tears because she's like, Rachel, I don't think that you want to like brag on yourself or acknowledge the fact that you have crushed that threshold. Not that that part of your story of getting sober on accident in 2018 and having a spiritual awakening in a bunk bed in Aspen and not knowing what you're doing in LA, that is all very important because that is the origin story, but it's not your story now. So what we're doing, and again, with this idea of misfits, right, that a lot of us, that's how we found our way here. You have your own misfit light to shine. What I mean by that is, again, most of us that identify as misfits, it's because we took on what anybody said about us. Oh, you're different or, oh, you're weird or, oh, you're spiritual or, oh, you're nerdy or, oh, you're, you couldn't do that or, oh, you know, like, you know, the Millers don't leave Alabama or what, like whatever the stories are. There's somebody whose last name is Miller. They're like, how did you know? But all of these stories and the, that we take on that were given to us and they're not ours, right? It's that it takes a really long time to become who we've always been. And you are capable beyond your wildest dreams. And that is something that you have no matter what. No one can take capability away from you. No one, you are capable to transform your life, period. And it doesn't also have to be this big, like, you know, seller got a groove back moment. You know, it's like, this is an ongoing, ever changing and evolving way of being that every time, you know, we kind of level up, quote unquote, we get to that next thing and it feels like a barrier we can't cross. And it's like, but that's just the name of the game. That's self-evolution. Every time you reach this next point of like, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you're going to have evidence of all of the hurdles that you've jumped up until this moment. So I believe that myself, that all of you listening, we are ready for this next moment and we are ready to, you know, feel the rain on your skin. You know, you guys know I love to sing that song. Okay. The rest is still unwritten, but it's like, this is the turning point. This is the story where we get to decide. Okay. So if you've seen me on socials, you know that I'm beginning this new journey, fit and famous by 40. Okay. I have exactly 21 months until I turn 40. That math was terrifying. Okay. 21 months until I turn 40 to become fit and famous as I define it. Now, let me make that make sense to you because there's a lot that can be taken from that. What does that mean? For me, the idea of fitness is, are you able, right? Um, that for me does mean going, I've been sharing some posts, please go and look at them, TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff about my own body dysmorphia, my, you know, the issues around my body. And I've tapped around, I've like talked a little bit here and there, but I've always been someone where I'm like, well, I don't want that to be like my identifier or, oh, almost like if I acknowledged that that was my struggle too, that it like gave it more power. And at this point I'm like, well, you can call it whenever you want. Um, but it's ruling your life. <laughs> so maybe we just like talk about it and get the fuck over it. Okay. Because that, that doesn't mean that like, you know, body positive or even body neutrality or body anything. All it means is that I am ready to build a body that I built, that I feel safe in, that feels good for me, right? Like the physical body that I have right now is a remainder of the last four years that I have spent either trying to get pregnant, being pregnant, breastfeeding, postpartum, getting pregnant again, like that ride has been a lot. And so the physical body that I'm in is not capable to take me where it is that I'm ready to go next because the cells in our body, how often they turn over and all of the like, um, neuroplasticity that what are the things that, uh, my brain is telling me now, right? We've talked about this before, the idea of the terror barrier within your nervous system, that when you start to challenge the things that you've done before and want to go beyond that barrier, you're going to experience a lot of things within your physical body. 
And so, yes, for me getting quote unquote fit, that does require, I would like to lose some like actual weight, right? There would be some fat that we're losing, but this, I want to be very clear, especially for my folks where this is a trigger warning. This is not a before and after of like, oh my God, but now I'm like, look how thin I am. That's defeats the entire fucking purpose of this, right? Of course, there will be the natural promise of transformation that what we focus on gets our focus. But for me, it's, I am ready to look at all the demons of all of the messaging that I received about my body and realize like it never fucking had anything to do with me to begin with. That my worth, my capability, none of that was real. And so it's certainly not real now. And that's why for me, boom, 21 months, the cutoff is at 40. Because I absolutely motherfucking refuse to go in, like at 40, it's like, that's grown ass woman, right? We love to say it all the time, but it's like at 40 years old, like that doesn't mean you have to know everything, but like you're a grown ass bitch. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what's up. I've birthed two babies. I've birthed two businesses. I've kept my shit up in the air. Like we're a grown ass bitch. Okay. And we're not going into this year, into that entire decade, a new story of my life, carrying around things that somebody said about my body when I was 13 years old. I'm just, I refuse to do it both for 13 year old Rachel and 40 year old Rachel. So, so much of that journey is about allowing my body to be a vessel that can process the experiences that I'm having now at 30, 38 and a half, 39, 40 and beyond that. I want to have a physical vessel that is able to maintain the high, high frequencies of consciousness that come through the high, high frequencies of creativity that come through the high, high levels of stress. I've said that for the past three years. Everyone's like, how are you doing what you do? And I keep saying, I am learning to deepen my capacity for stress. And now it's time for my physical body to transform, to represent the way that I feel inside so that we can continue to do on and move more. And that's what's really, really important to me. So that's part of this. And then on the other side of that is this idea of fame. Now, Sure. I would love, I, I, listen, yeah, light up the spotlight, you know, mama's ready, but it goes beyond. I don't think that like at the end of this, it's like, oh, now you're selling out arenas and you have this and you have that. Everything is a natural process, right? So we will continue to grow and bring in a bigger and bigger audience and have bigger and bigger opportunities and working our way towards that, you know, idea of like fame that everybody imagines. Um, if I say famous, like kind of that overarching idea for me, again, and the ownership of fame means that I am showing up to my audience from my highest self, that there is no more downplaying. There is no more hiding. There's no more, Oh, I don't know that I am now showing up at the highest version of myself to be seen. Okay. So I share those for you because I want you to know that is, that's the buy-in right now. Okay. From where I am now and to where I am, it is that I'm going, that is the transformation that I'm making a commitment to myself that over the next 21 months, that is what I'm transforming for myself so that I go into a new decade, having all of this work that I've done, all of the orange, uh, orange story, um, all of the origin story. There we go. And everything that has come since is serving its purpose, that we are honoring it by living this new story, okay? What I want to offer to you, because I want to offer you to come along on this journey, all right? Where are you? And I know you, and I know you're listening, and I know maybe you're like, well, I'm not at that place yet, or I just started, or I just did this, but I also know that wherever you are, you are ready for this tipping point. You are ready for something that's new. So you get to decide what are the things that you want to transform over the next 21 months? What are the things that you want to step into? Maybe they do center around your body and about being seen, but what are those two things that at the root of them are about your sense of worthiness and reinforcing for yourself that you are capable? What are those things? And I invite you to come along with me. So no matter what those specifics are for you, and really what it is, is this journey is going to be about allowing ourselves to create that new story and reach that new level of highest self without, that doesn't mean that all of it works out. That doesn't mean that it's all perfect. And remembering that it's for us. I'm not getting fit and famous on anybody else's definition, right? That's what makes it so secret. It's on my definition. 
What is my belief of those things moving forward so that I can continue to cultivate and create the life that I want? So here's my offering to you, okay? We have 21 months. So there is going to be a series of things that we are going to be doing as different checkpoints and checking in together. What are those things that you're working through for yourself? Uh, we're going to have uh, group workshops. There's going to be a lot of different things that we are going to offer. And the, the first one is going to be in one month from today. So today is you, if you listen to this on the day that it is uh, out into the world, it is the Lionsgate portal. This is eight, eight in an eight year. So this is pretty high energy. Okay. Um, then uh, we are going to meet in one month. So that will be Sunday, September 8th. That will be 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Okay. And that way you will get a full month of my content here. You know, I'm sure there's going to be crossover of things I'm going through, energies that I'm picking up that we're going to share here in this space on the podcast. And you were also now, after listening to this, even if you didn't want to, these ideas, frequencies are going to start to cultivate if they have not already, although I'm going to guess if you're here, you're ready for this. Um, and so over the next month, you can begin to gather your thoughts. What is it for yourself that you are ready to say, I am worthy and I am capable? What are, what is that journey for you? What does that look like? Okay. And so then that way in a month, when we all sit down and meet in this very free workshop, it is a very free workshop. It is completely free. I am hustling nothing at the end of it. I'm not going to go now because this was free. You should buy it. There's none of that. Okay. I'm going to be very fucking clear right now. This is a totally free, 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 all the way free thing. Okay. So this is just a space that we will come together. I'm really going to talk through the really um, high energies of what this all means. So what we want to be tethered to. Also, if you go to the, um, the Substack uh, offering in our the paid subscription for this, it'll already start to walk you through those five high energy points that is going to carry us. It's kind of that energy that we want to attach ourselves to in a very positive way that is going, those are the anchors that are going to carry us through from here to this transformation point of success as we define it. Okay. So we're going to break those down uh, in the workshop. And we're going to start to, I'm going to ask you a series of questions and talk a little bit so that you can begin to create your map. I mean, that's another part of this where everything that I have done. And the reason I've been able to get to this point is by following my intuition is listening to that part that knows, because it will always tell you when to move. You don't need to question. You don't, you, I mean, yes, I think having relationships with your guides and different spiritual practices and all of these things is beautiful and important. And however you define that for yourself. But ultimately, if you're not listening and following your own intuition on day to day, then it doesn't really mean anything. Like we have to get so rooted and also your guides, Jesus, all of this higher energy can help you navigate better the more that you're tuned into yourself. So that's also why that there's not really any paid features that I'm going to be offering. There's not really any like hands on, like, because this is also an opportunity for you to be able to truly tap into that. I want this to be evidence-based for you by the end of 21 months. You're like, oh, bitch, I got myself here, right? So obviously we're going to be building this sense of community. We're going to have other ways that we're like communicating and working together. Again, I've called this whole thing, join the pack, right? Fit and famous by 40, join the pack, like get in, we're going, okay? We're a bunch of lionesses and we're ready to fucking go on the prowl. Let's like, like go, let's go get your bag, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm so excited to have you. I already have 12 of you that are signed up for the free workshop in a month. I'm so excited for more of you. Um, again, if you want to share, there'll be opportunities to share. If you're somebody who doesn't like to share, you're a note taker, you can do that as well. If you're like, I'm not available on the day, we will send you the full replay. Um, I really, really want this to be an opportunity that we as a community grow together. I know that all of you are doing this work alongside me and the ways in which it makes sense in your journey and in your story. And what I really love about this is the focus yet the openness for you to fill in the blanks for you. So 
I, I can't determine what that transformation point is for you, but I can guide you and I can do the work and I can show you that if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. We are worthy. We're capable. And we have now unlearned those stories for ourselves. That's why most of you are here. You are already on this journey, creating new, a new world for yourself. But I feel like at this point, it's not enough to unlearn. We have to claim. We have to claim worthiness. We have to claim uh, capability. And that's it. End of story. Okay? So this is really about stepping into that misfit light, identifying with what that is, and then like, you know, boom, away we go. All right? All of that will be in the uh, notes here on the website. Again, if you're interested, every single episode I offer y'all so much. Uh, there are different readings, meditations. As more people join the Substack, we'll be doing uh, more like group energy readings and more things like that. So there is going to be a ton of content that is both digestible and goes along with each episode. That's what I love too. And at a price point of only $9.99, then like if every episode isn't for you, but the ones that are going to this space and getting that, um, almost that second, like reinforcement, right? That's why we like other spiritual teachers when there's something that's on our wavelength and then they're almost confirming it for us, right? When we're all on these civil, similar wavelengths. Um, and so I feel like even that investment enough of like, oh, great. Yes, that's what I wanted. So that's really why we keep it with each episode so that the themes um, that are feeling applicable to you, you can also go back and look at old readings. Um, even when I'm doing energy readings, I'm always trying to tap into the evergreen of them as well so that it's not just like, uh, a lesson for the Mercury retrograde in the first quarter or whatever, that all of these energies are always applicable, right? That's why, you know, the Bible has been able to reinvent itself as many times as it has because a proverb and a Psalm is always applicable. So, um, I'm not saying I have any weight of people who wrote the Bible. Okay. I want to be very clear with that one. I don't want you to leave thinking that I think I'm a beetle, but, um, I know the Beatles didn't write the Bible. Okay, relax. All right. I love you guys so very much. Go check out the Substack if you want. If you've not joined my monthly newsletter, come on. Um, hey, I would love the support, but I would love for you to know what's going on. We are expanding, dare I say, rapidly right now. Um, and so I would love just to connect. There's a lot of different arms to my business and ways that we could either work together, collaborate, um, I am all about really building community. That's a big tenant for me next year is really getting out there and expanding my network. So, um, if you're in the Atlanta area and you want to work together, if you're in a different city and you want to work together, if you, um, I, I really just am putting that out there again, in this idea of fit and famous, we are expanding the network and really getting out there. So take advantage of that. But for now, uh, I love you. God, do I love you. I hope you've had a beautiful Lionsgate portal and whatever that means to you. I'm rooting for you. I hope you'll join the pack and join us for the first workshop of many. Um, yeah. Tune out, tune in. You know the drill. Love you, mean it. Time, weather, and...